Stan Jubilisco here. The other day, I found uh, an insurance agent uh, in Spearfish in the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of huh. absurdity. This insurance agent will help me sign up for Medicare and also for the supplemental insurance I will need to uh, fill. You know, help me sign up for everything, basically. And he got me going, enrolled, and um, the my birthday is still a few months away, but I'm a bit ahead of the game, uh, and a lot, and that's what a lot of people do. I wanted this agent to handle things and I didn't want to get on the internet myself directly and do it. So we pretty much signed me up for everything to happen in sequence between now and my birthday in September. I began getting emails from the Social Security Administration. Strange emails. One of them came from the office in Salinas, California. Why it would come from that office, I have no clue. I opened up the emails, but I did not click on any of the links within those emails. I called the agent about this, uh, and the agent said, don't even open them up. They're probably fraud. You see, Medicare has just recently changed their cards, and there are going to be also a lot of people applying for Social Security and Medicare in the coming years because they're of the baby boomer generation. Uh, that includes me and it may include you. What I'm admonishing you is be deeply skeptical of everything you get by email or by telephone claiming to be from the Social Security Administration. I intend only to respond to snail mail correspondences, and even then, I intend to let the agent handle everything. And I'm not going to get involved at all because it could create confusion. There's a potential mess here a potential catastrophe for a lot of baby boomers. One may already be happening to me, I don't know. Uh, but it, the hackers seem to rule the roost when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to Medicare and Social Security. It's a ripe fruit for them to pick and they are picking it, and you should be aware of this. If I were you, I would get the advice of a professional and who knows exactly what he or she is doing. Hopefully find someone, an agent, who can handle all of this for you so that you aren't fooled into getting ripped off. I'm just waiting for the first a sign of real foul play here. Meanwhile, all I can do is try and live my life, <clears throat> and try and keep my health so I don't have to go to the doctor whether I have insurance or not. I hope to put off getting actual Social Security until I'm old enough so that I can get the maximum benefit. Uh, I'm trying to be patient, trying to do things right, but they're going to come at you if you apply for Medicare or when you apply for Medicare and or Social Security. The hackers will be after you. I can guarantee it. And all I can tell you is keep your antennas up. Keep them up high and be skeptical of everything. Find someone you can trust and put all your trust in that person.
Let them handle it for you. That's what I'm doing. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.